Potentiometer Comparison of two EMFs Title To compare the EMFs of two given cells using a potentiometer by 1. Individual method 2. Sum and difference method Introduction An accumulator a rheostat, a plug key and the potentiometer wire are connected to form a series circuit. The positive terminal of a cell of EMF E1 is connected to the point A of the potentiometer and the negative is connected to a galvanometer which in turn is connected to a jockey. When the jockey is tapped on the potentiometer wire, the galvanometer shows the deflection depending upon the current through it. The galvanometer deflections near A and B are in opposite directions depending on the net potential at that point. At a point say P, the galvanometer does not show any deflection indicating the potential at point P must be equal to the potential at the negative terminal of the cell. Let the length AP be L1. The potential difference between any two points on the potentiometer wire is directly proportional to the length of the wire between the two points. Hence, the EMF of the cell E1 is directly proportional to the balancing length L1. If E1 and E2 are the EMFs of two cells used to determine the balancing lengths L1 and L2, then E1 upon E2 is equal to L1 upon L2. For sum and difference method, we use this circuit diagram. When the negative of E1 is connected to positive of E2, the cells are in series, that is, sum. If the balancing length is L1 dash, therefore, AP1 is equal to L1 dash. Therefore, E1 plus E2 is equal to KL1 dash. This is the first equation. When the two cells are connected such that negative of E1 is connected to negative of E2, then cells are opposing each other and it is called as difference. If the balancing length is L2 dash, AP2 is equal to L2 dash. Therefore, E1 minus E2 is equal to KL2 dash. This is the second equation. Therefore, using equations 1 and 2, we get E1 plus E2 upon E1 minus E2 is equal to L1 dash upon L2 dash. Therefore, E1 upon E2 is equal to L1 dash plus L2 dash upon L1 dash minus L2 dash.